Governor Romney, pay equity for women. Thank you, and uh, important topic, and one which I learned a great deal about, uh, particularly as I was serving as governor of my state, because I had the, the chance to pull together a cabinet, and uh, all the applicants seemed to be men. And I, and I went to my staff and I said, how come all the people for these jobs are, are all men? They said, well, these are the people that have the qualifications. And I said, well, gosh, can't we, can't we find some, some women that are also qualified? And, uh, and so we, we took a concerted effort to go out and find women who had backgrounds that could be qualified to become members of our cabinet. I went to a number of women's groups and said, can you help us find folks? And they brought us whole binders full of, uh, of women. I was proud of the fact that after I staffed my cabinet and my senior staff, that the University of New York uh, in Albany did a survey of all 50 states and concluded that mine had more women in senior leadership positions than any other state in America. All right, that clip getting a lot of play today. The answer coming in response to a question about equal pay for men and women. Let's start with the fun part of this, if there is one. It became instant spoof fodder all over the web. Bindersfullofwomen.com was instantly snatched up, and Bindersfullofwomen is now trending on Twitter. Somebody also started an account with Romney's binders. Uh, lots of lines like, uh, I don't always hire women, but when I do, I have binders full of them. What do you mean he has an iPad full of women? Then uh, here's a, another one that I, that I kind of, there you see the, the shot there. Get in my binder. Uh, and then you've also got captain of finance, binder of women. That's sort of a standard one. Uh, my favorite is the Beyonce line. If you liked it, then you should have put three rings on it. And there's one of uh, Beyonce doing that. And finally, binders full of women. Oh, sure. I've got hundreds of them, oh, and uh, of that's slack. probably Hugh Hefner, probably not the image I want. Okay, that's the funny part, but here are the, here's the two parts of this that I didn't find funny at all. First, that this is a discussion about pay equity, and the best that Mitt Romney's got is, well, I, I had lots of women in my cabinet. That wasn't the question, and this was coming from a young woman who was concerned about making 72 or 80 percent of what, of what men make. The second part that I had a problem with is, Mitt Romney's been a guy who's been in business for 20-some-odd years. He didn't have any women that he had worked with over the years who he thought might have been qualified. He wasn't really from Massachusetts, so he didn't know anybody local. But look, cut the guy some slack, will you please? Tell me If why. he had said binders of resumes of women, would that have been offensive? No. He made a, a small verbal slip, given that candidates have to pay heavy prices for that. I understand that. But this is not a big deal. I, the, 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 the big deal is, as you point out, that he never answered the question about his opposition to the Lilly Ledbetter bill, which is a much more important issue. He's got a lousy record on it. He changed the subject, and he used a, uh, an, an, an inel inelegant way of expressing it. And we've all done that from time to time. Look, the, the, the ha-has that are going around on the web, that's, I'm sure there are plenty of President Obama from something that he said last night. You're always going to get this sort of reaction uh, following these debates, but but what about the the, the issues uh, about the the lack of pay equity in his answer and and his need to have a search committee basically to find female candidates? Well, you know, I do agree. I mean, a verbal slip you can't hold somebody to it. It, it was it was a silly slip. Everybody knows what he meant when he said binder full of women and silly reaction and to silly it. And silly reaction, be... and it's all in fun. But that said, you know, Paul Ryan voted against the Lilly Ledbetter Act. When he was first asked, Romney did not have a response to it and seemed to have a misunderstanding as to what it was about. This was early on in the campaign. When he was asked the question, he did not talk about the substance of the issue of pay equity for women, which is a serious issue. And I give him credit. He did hire women in his administration. And there, he's right to, to cite that study from, from but, SUNY. But, 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 but let, but let on the substance, there are some problems there. And I agree with you on the other point. You know, it's a little disheartening, I have to tell you. If they're, if they're trying to attract women, I don't know, putting the verbal slip aside, why you're talking about how hard it is to find qualified women for positions. I think it was a misstep of enormous proportions for somebody who's trying to attract the women's vote. If you take the quote from Mitt Romney last night and substitute the word black or African American for women, I think the reaction is much more uh, is is uh, you know much more significant today. I wonder if anybody agrees. No, I no. Don't. Look, he made a verbal slip. Let us not make a mountain of a mole out of a molehill. But the, the, go but ahead. The problem is he has a history of these slips and talk about of these verbal slips I, I give the guy credit for what he was trying to do 
you got to give him credit. A new governor, and he's saying, listen, I want some diversity on my staff. Get me some, some qualified women, some qualified African Americans, some qualified Asian Americans, Latinos, the point on and on. But when you come out and he has a history, he just can't seem to get the words right. He are had the binders of the 47%. <laughs> a binders so, of the but Governor, are you saying, are you saying it's the slip or it's the, or it's the substance of it? Well, I don't have a problem with the substance okay. because I think he was trying... President Obama did a much better job of answering that question. He laid out but exactly. Can I ask you, where does he stand on the issue of pay equity for women? And He's that, got a vice a, a presidential candidate who voted against that's that a, act. That's an and excellent fairness, question. And in Paul Ryan answers that by talking about a, something he says the bill was not about pay equity, as he, we all know. Excellent but question. that is a real fair question to ask, and he didn't answer it, and he has not yet answered it. And, and I think that's a real and, concern. And, that, and that's why the, the online jokes, I don't find it funny because pay equity is a real issue for women. There's nothing funny about this at all. But the, the, the binder is full of women. I mean, the line is a little bit funny. Come and that's on, what, that's what Twitter does. We're going to get sick of these Twitter and jokes for somebody, too long. And for somebody who's, who's done the best job out of any of the questions are about the economy, unemployment, jobs, this is something that naturally fits in that area. He could have used this to Remember his advantage. Remember what his answer was on, this, on, on the issue of pay equity. Uh, everyone will do better when my economic plan is in place. That'll, that includes women. The, the, I, I think what he it has a tough time doing is connecting to constituencies that he's not personally familiar with. So that's that's just about everybody. This, 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 that's what, about that constituency he doesn't connect with. I, I, this, that's just about everybody. There's more truth in that is it, than, is it, than you is it, is it more than the 47 percent or is it he, less is, than the 47 percent? And this was an example of him loping he, into a problem he, he, he didn't well, have to when, make. When he said, you know, and I think this is something that is important to women, and obviously you're the only one at this table that can, uh, that can answer that question as a woman, but when he said for his chief of staff that when she said she had to be home by 7 to feed her boys or her kids, I think that's something that every woman could relate to. And so when he said flexible work hours, it was a good answer. It's just that he can't seem to get the words out right. Flexible pay hours uh, or flexible pay at, you know, 75% of what the men are making. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the role of the moderator, Candy Crowley. Did she over-moderate? That is coming up next. Stay with us.